Hi, my name's Matt Hayes and welcome to Big Carp. You'll join me in the middle of what is unfortunately my last carp fishing session of the season. It's March the 14th today and the close season is just round the corner. Carp fishing is the fastest growing aspect of the UK angling scene. Carp fishing has become an obsession and a cult. You'll see what I mean when you look at this. It's a cold winter's day in the middle of the Devon countryside and grown men are wallowing about in the mud and all for the sake of catching big carp. Well, not that I can talk because I'm one of them. This isn't fish catching in the normal way. This is Angler's Paradise in North Devon, a fishery run by one of the sport's most colourful characters, Mr Zig Gregorek. Zig runs the site as a holiday complex and there are luxurious chalets where the angler can stay with his family and live in five-star accommodation. There's also a small carp syndicate called the Five Seas, the crafty, cunning carp catchers club, and many of its members are here today, along with some of the holiday-making regulars. The object of this exercise is to remove the small carp and fish of other species from this, the main carp lake. By draining it down, this will allow the bigger fish even more room to grow a greater amount of food and hopefully the opportunity to become the 20s and 30s that our carp anglers of today so rightly demand. After being netted, each of the fish is weighed in turn, religiously. Each pound and ounce is carefully recorded along with a photograph of the fish so that growth can be monitored in the future. Most of the carp are of the mirror variety and like fingerprints their scale patterns vary. No two fish are the same. From photographs it should be fairly easy to identify different fish. The common carp are not so easy to identify. Unless there is a distinguishing mark it is very hard to tell one fish from another. Whilst the smaller fish are taken to a new water on the site, the big carp will be kept in stock ponds until the water level on the main carp lake is back to normal. You wouldn't believe it, but all of these anglers, and I include myself in this remark, are really enjoying themselves. Some of them have travelled miles just to help out and witness an event that most anglers never get to see. Is it the charismatic, persuasive qualities of Mr Gregorek that is responsible for bringing all of these people together? No, I don't think so. Even Zig can't compare with the pulling power of big carp. You can see just by the expression on people's faces that being up to your armpits in mud, soaking wet, freezing cold is all worthwhile when it comes to seeing a few of your beloved carp. Never have so many anglers been stuck so many times and never a crossword spoken between them. Honest. The obsession that fanatical anglers have for carp has turned fishing for them into an art form. Take bite indication, for example. These are fox swingers, heavily weighted bobbins, which move up and down on the line if a carp runs away and drop back very quickly if the carp moves towards the angler. Bite indicators, too, have been developed to a level of sophistication that has developed from the early days of a coil of silver paper. What would our forefathers have thought of these bleeping, winking electronic machines that we now use to signal a run. 
And you wouldn't expect anglers who are prepared to pay a few hundred quid just to register a bite to scrimp and save when it comes to the tackle that they use. Shimano produce some of the finest carp fishing tackle in the world, both in their rods and reel range. The famous bait runner system, an integral part of Shimano big carp reels, have sold thousands and thousands of models over the past few years. If carp anglers have demanded the best from their fishing tackle, it is they who are responsible for developing terminal tackle or rigs to a point of ultra sophistication. Terminal tackle is basically the lead, the hook length material and the hook. Most anglers are quite happy to tie a hook onto a bit of line, a few shots and a, and a float. It's not quite as simple as that, but carp anglers go several stages further. Their rigs are finely tuned and perfectly balanced. They incorporate baits mounted off the hook on what's known as a hair. They've spent thousands of painstaking hours toiling away at home, testing rigs in tanks to come up with the single wonder rig, the one that the carp can't resist and can't eject. It's just one problem. No one's told the carp. Perhaps the most significant developments of all, however, have been made with bait. In the old days, anglers were content to creep round overgrown lakes with a few parboiled potatoes, some red worms, and some big lumps of bread crust. What would they think of today's boilies? Hard boiled baits made with liquidized eggs, bird foods, fish meals, milk proteins and binding agents, boiled so that they're rock hard and that the small fish can't eat away at them. The list of flavors is endless, everything from cherry to sardine to tutti frutti. Carp fever is not just a disease that's afflicting English anglers anymore, it's spreading all over Europe. And it's no wonder when you see lakes like this giant sheet of water out in Spain that's simply teeming with carp. But you don't have to have a massive water to breed big carp. Take this tiny, overgrown, gin-clear, weed-choked ballast pit in Gloucestershire, the home of very big fish.
And if you think that was a good result from a small water, take a look at this sequence. Well, this is why strong tackle is so important at Ashley. The moment we'd all been waiting for, my 10th fish of the trip, and at last, I'd hook one of the big ones. The fish had fallen to a boilie, which I had cast on a steep shelf close to the island, and it was now surging about through the lilies in an attempt to break free. I could easily feel each lily stem break as the heavy line cut through them. But under this sort of pressure, even a 32 pound leather car in prime condition cannot fight forever. And I was relieved to see it safely engulfed in the net. Back she goes. Safe and sound, and probably a little wiser. This is the magic of Ashley, and it's a real privilege to have fished here. The angler in that sequence was John Baker. John's been round carp fishing for a few years. He's acknowledged as a bait expert. He was around right in the formative days of the development of boilies and special flavours. But enough of JB, let's look at one of my recent fishing trips when I went out to Spain to try and catch some big fish with a good friend of mine, Stuart Allen.
because those carp that we caught were in Spain, there are fish many times bigger than that all over the continent. Fish up to three times bigger, in fact. Monster carp, giant carp, the kind of carp that haunt your dreams. The rest assured that countries like Spain will be giving us quite a few surprises in the next few years to come. Keep this fish clear of the other line. Hey, come on. It's not a bad fish. It's pulling a bit now. Ooh, no, 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 no. Um. <laughs> They don't like it up at Mr. Manrin. A good mirror. I didn't think it was that big when I no. latched into it. Oh. Right across the surface. under the rod tip. They don't, they don't fight much far out. Don't worry, mate. She's in. She's in. Yes! But of all the European waters, France is the country that has probably realised the greatest potential in the last 10 years. There are some massive fish in France, fish like the 70 pound plus monsters that have been caught at Caycine 
in the south of France. English anglers have been having a birthday out there, but they're not getting it all their own way because the French anglers, despite the fact that they're probably 10 years behind us at the moment, are learning very fast indeed.
close. Six. Look at that. Is that milk coming out then? Milk pouring. Oh, lovely fish. Back tail pull, so oars in the way. That's it. The third one on top of your head. <laughs> Twenty-nine two. Twenty-nine two. Twenty-nine two. That's good, Paul. And the baby. Probably going to have most to say. Yeah, that's a better colour. It's a nice looking fish. Can yeah. you pull the push the sack down off the other fish, Paul? We'll do another row ahead. <laughs> 20, what's this one? 20. 21 and a half. 21 and a half. Down a bit, Paul. Back in, that's it. Down oh. a bit, Paul. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> on your leg. Move your leg. Move your knees. Oh. That's all right. Can you row me both? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you doing that? Paul's tempting. Good shot if you can get it out. Right? <laughs> Right, the top one's going back. <laughs> That's the actress, isn't it? It's a little... <laughs> <laughs> that way. Yeah, done that way. No, you've done my way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lovely. One of the most notorious big fish waters in this country is the Yateley Complex. This unique amateur video footage shot by Jock White captures the events of a truly spectacular season. The Yateley Yahoo crew, of which Jock is a member, had a stunning season on the water, capturing many big carp. There are other anglers included in this sequence too, but the sheer number of carp to over 40 pounds is a truly breathtaking sight and we're grateful to Jock 
for allowing us to show you this incredible footage. Hey, oh, Giza. You're who, Giza? Hey. Second one of the season. 34 9. Look after him, also. Look. Don't want to let it go. Come in. Yeah, come on, baby. Take your time, tell it'll come. It's only a bit of weed there, mate. It'll kick yourself out there. Still ain't stopped breathing, heavy. Yours, sir. Come on, full time lucky. Come on, she's yours. Well, there's some boiling that is, isn't it? Eh? Not much pressure on it. Back work tomorrow. That's it, she's coming. Forty-three ten. Yeah. T-shirt tail. You still like them with your head cut off, Phil? You're gonna have to watch the shadows, there. Yeah, I know. <laughs> 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 nice one, Sal, well done. Yeah. 
Yeah, okay, Oops, sorry. Hang on. Camera. Set. Boy, four, four. Yeah. What it weigh, Jock? How much was it, Jock? What it weigh? Four, four, mate. Down there, Jock. Go on then, Pete, you want to do uh, the measurements? We've done this side of it, mate. It's 32 and a half. Get in there. Okay. <laughs> this way, <laughs> Who knows about these? Yeah, little Peter Painter, get in there. Like everybody else, I don't want to let it go. <laughs> go on then, baby, thank you. Go on. Big Yahoo, Jock. Hang on. Let's get the fish. Lovely. Oh, look at that. Come in the weed. Thank you very much. I saved it especially for this occasion. All the way through this video, we've looked at the modern side of carp fishing. The sophisticated tackle, the ultra cult baits, the advanced terminal rigs, but you don't have to use such stuff to catch big carp. I proved that recently when last autumn, fishing this very water, I managed to stalk out some big carp by fishing large visible baits over beds of hemp seed. The tackle was simple, a line, a hook and a big bait. Bite indication was using my eyes. There are at least three or four fish in here. Um, I can see the tails waving. I'm just going to try and lower a bait in gently to them now. I'm just so frightened of spooking these fish. This water's just gin clear. It's going down. Oh, it's landed right in amongst them. There's at least, there's three, no, no, four. Five, there's five carp down there. Oh, I can't stand it. These fish are very close to the bait. Yes! He's on, he's on. He's running very hard. He's running out towards the middle of the lake. I've got to be careful here because the weed, the weed's very, very thick. The fish is moving at very hard. Oh, he's going left, he's going left. I've got to go into the water. Yes, it's a big fish, I can feel it. It's just thumping away, it's powering away. There's, there's at least 40 yards off the reel now, probably 50, 60. It's moving at incredibly high speed. Oh, it's a big fish, it's a big fish.
The fish is still tearing through the weed. There's not a lot I can do about this other than to keep the pressure on. I've got to keep it out of that weed. There's, there's Canadian pond weed in here at least six or seven feet thick and I can feel the line just, just pinging. I've got to lean down now, come on. This fish has been going about five minutes. Oh, it's fantastic. She's coming up now. Oh, you can see the bait hanging out of its mouth. Look at that. That's incredible. I, I'm not sure she's ready for the net yet. I honestly don't think she'll come straight away. C come on, baby. No, no, she's seen the net. Oh, she's away again. Yes, I think she's ready now. Yes, she's had enough. Come on, baby. Yes! Yes! Oh. Brilliant. And if you've enjoyed this video, then get other videos in the same series, including big river fish and big fish. Thanks for watching.